Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share some exercises that are going to be really helpful in stretching out both sides of the forearm, the wrist. So really helpful if, you're, if you've got a painful um, tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, cubital tunnel syndrome, carpal tunnel syndrome, anything where you need to be stretching out the forearm muscles on either side, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing today. The purpose of these stretches is to lengthen or to stretch out the muscles on either side of the forearm that help us to move the wrist and also move the fingers. So with these stretches, it's important that you don't feel pain. It's okay to be a little bit uncomfortable or to feel a little bit of a pull or a stretching kind of sensation. But if you're having pain, it might be a sign that you need to ease it back a little bit because pain is gonna actually cause more inflammation in that area, right? And it could make you more tight in the long run. So it's definitely good to kind of avoid any heightened amounts of pain. And just kind of feel a nice gentle stretch. These stretches are going to be performed about three times a day. Okay, so really try to get them in morning, afternoon, nighttime, break them up throughout your day so that the muscles have time to kind of heal in between. Um, and aren't getting overstretched at one time and then not getting stretched at all another time of day. You want to do each stretch five times through and it's a slow stretch so you're going to be holding each position for about five seconds before you relax and reset to go on to the next repetition. Okay so three times a day, five repetitions each and hold for about five seconds for each stretch. All right, let's get to stretching. So you're gonna hold out the affected arm or the arm that you wanna stretch in front of you. If you've got shoulder problems and it's hard for you to hold your arm up that high, you can go ahead and lower the arm a little bit to about 45 degrees. But if your shoulder is doing okay, you wanna be at close to 90 degree angle, okay, from the shoulder. You're gonna have a nice straight elbow and a nice straight wrist to start, okay? So it's gonna look just like that. For the first stretch, you're gonna go ahead and use your other hand to help you pull back. You're gonna feel a nice tension in the wrist. You're gonna feel a little bit of a stretch through this part of the forearm, okay? And you wanna hold for five seconds. Okay, next stretch here, we're bringing it back to neutral. This arm is staying nice and relaxed. It's not doing any of the movement actively, okay? Your unaffected hand again is going to go ahead and right on top. This time we're pushing down nice and slow, gentle ease into it until you feel a nice amount of tension in the arm. This time you're gonna feel the stretch through this portion of the forearm, okay? And hold, perfect, okay? Third stretch, you're actually going to rotate your palm up towards the ceiling, okay? And this time you're going to take your unaffected arm, put it right on top of the palm, and pull back, okay? As far as you can go without feeling painful. You want to feel a nice stretch through this part of the arm. Good. So if any of those stretches were feeling really bothersome, really painful, you felt it a lot through here, it just felt too intense, even if you didn't pull far back in the wrist, right? So you're not cranking it, even if you adjusted to here and you're still feeling a lot of pain here, you might need to change the position a little bit. So maybe having, you know, elbow extended, wrist extended, that's too much for you. What you can do is actually bring your elbow in about a 90 degree angle so I'm hiking my shoulder up just so that you guys can see but you want to keep like your shoulder nice and down okay but a 90 degree angle in the arm and then take your stretches from there it's gonna be a lot less intense and it might be you know a good level for you at this time as that starts to get easier over the next couple of weeks you can always kind of kick it out a little bit further 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 until you're able to do the full-on extended elbow stretch but if it's feeling too much, you don't wanna push it, but you still wanna get that little bit of stretch in there, that's a good way to modify that position. I also wanna mention that these stretches can possibly flare up your symptoms a little bit worse in the first few days that you're doing them. It's important that 
if you're feeling like your symptoms are getting a little bit worse in the first few days, try and keep doing the exercises. Maybe take a little bit um, less of a stretch. So either bend the elbow, take a little bit less of a stretch in the wrist, right, rather than cranking it all the way down. Um, try to modify it a little bit. If it's sore afterwards, that is normal. Get some ice on there. Um, sometimes it helps if you heat before you stretch too. So hop out of the shower. That's a good time to do your stretches. Your muscles are already a little bit warmed up, right? It's not gonna feel as much of a strain or a pull on them. Um, get some ice on them after. Do what you need to do. It should start to get better if you're consistent with your stretches within a week. Um, if it doesn't, I would recommend kind of stopping the stretches and going to your doctor um, to try and you know figure out what you guys can do to make your symptoms a little bit better. Always go to a doctor first before you're starting any exercise programs. Okay, these are really just suggestions. So definitely see your doctor before beginning any kind of exercises at home on your own. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it's helpful um, and hope it gives you some ideas for some great stretches to add into your day. Do be consistent with them if you can, if they're feeling really good. Over time, it will start to kind of loosen up the muscles on either side of the forearm. Make sure that you spread them out throughout your day. Um, don't do, you know, 20 reps all at once. Um, try to split it throughout the day so that you're staying stretched consistently throughout your day. Um, hopefully you like this video. If you did, go ahead and click like. Um, you can subscribe to the channel for more videos on hand therapy, different exercises, taping techniques, all of those good things. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.